You haven't been on a YouTube video in ages. What do you say? <laughs> I, I always say Movie date calls for a snack. These bitches? I want a strawberry milk. I genuinely think all of this meal took me about 12 minutes to make. Bulking is arguably harder than cutting because technically you gotta do more. You gotta cook more, you gotta eat more, but not to say that it's easy. Whether you're bulking shredding, at the end of the day, it's gonna be tough. It's difficult to diet, especially staying consistent with it long enough to see results. And considering I'm in a bulk at the moment myself, I'm gonna give you guys a few of my meals that I eat throughout the day to, I guess, get in the calories. I like you do this every single day. Simply gonna start off with a shake and then cook up a bit of mince. Now I got home from the gym about two hours ago, but I just got stuck straight into editing and I didn't start cooking up straight away. Usually I would come home and I would eat the mince first and then I would have a shake. Most people go straight for a shake after their session. I've been getting the food. Messy ass fridge. We shop at Woolworths and this thing right here, $10 extra lean beef mince, 600 calories and 100 grams of protein in just this. And the best thing is, if you're skinny and trying to bulk, eating large portions in one serving is usually Usually hard because well I guess you're skinny and you're not used to eating a lot of food but this pretty easy to smash especially if you had bread with it mmm delicious all right I'm gonna make the shake first because if I make the mince first and eat that I will be so full that I won't even think of the shake so if I blend it up I can leave it in the fridge and it's ready to go in about half an hour and I'm hungry again if you're new here this is my apartment we got a treadmill here for Brielle when she does her steps we got boxes here that are for the lounge when we did unbox and put that together there's a sheet over it because the dogs run around the balcony get their paws dirty and then they step on it so we peel it off when uh, we have guests over to try and make it look good Christmas tree is still up that'll be going down soon we got a Kmart table over there but we have our big dining table on its way, a mirror with a light that looks pretty cool. And then this is the kitchen, although it's a little bit messy at the moment. And that's where we're gonna be making the shake. And this is our little sup store. As you guys can probably tell, I'm sponsored by EHP Labs. Shout out to them for hooking me up with all these supplements. I've used Code Trail on their website. It helps me out a lot. It'll be a link in the description. Save yourself a bunch of money. But before you go and buy things, I better give you a little rundown on what they are. So here's my honest opinion. Oxy Sleep, it does taste like hot chocolate. It's pretty good. I don't actually know what the fuck it does for you and it's pretty expensive. So it's definitely not necessary. Creatine, buy it. Best thing for you, cheap as fuck. Oxy greens are meant to be really good for you. I haven't actually read into it, but it's meant to be good for like gut health and digestion and things like that, but I don't use it, that's Brielle's. Oxy Shred, I'm sure you guys have heard, seen, probably tasted this before, and it basically makes you sweat like fuck when you do your cardio, but it also has ingredients in there that actually helps you focus. I take this shit, that's my favorite flavor right there. Peach candy rings. I take it when I edit videos. Pride pre-workout, it's EHP Lab's signature pre-workout. It tastes fucking pretty good and the pump is insane except this one. Blue slushy, do not buy. Does not taste good and you'll regret it. It's annoying because when I tell people to buy Pride, they head over and they buy Blue Slushy because the name just sounds fucking awesome, Blue Slushy. And then they get disappointed and they're like, bro, this tastes like shit. And I'm like, I know, it's disgusting. Don't buy this one. Because it'll leave like a bad taste in your mouth and then you'll think all the other ones are shit when they're not. My personal favorite flavor is rainbow candy. Unless you can get your hands on green apple, although they're usually sold out, that is the best. And then you got their protein. You have the isopept or oxy whey. To be honest, I don't understand the difference. One has 25 grams of protein and one has 27. One has three carbs, one has four. I don't understand the difference between the both. So I just recommend getting the one that has a good looking flavor. I am actually going 2024 sober. I poured out all the bottles of Jack Daniels in my house. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Except this little bit. You always have to have an emergency. Let's get to this shake. Boom. You might need the cup. That's helpful. We need other ingredients. Peanut butter and honey. All right, this one's a little naughty, but vanilla ice cream. Now, a lot of people make their shakes with water. I use full cream milk because I think it just tastes better, nice and creamy. My secret ingredient, I like to throw in a little bit of mayonnaise. So these are all the ingredients. That's how much you want to put in your shake and how many calories and protein it is. And it's pretty fucking exciting because it tastes amazing. And the reason I say it's exciting is because most protein shakes taste like shit, especially when you make them at home yourself. I'm just going to speed ramp this part to save you guys the time, but basically throw all of that shit in this. And with the mayonnaise, it is a little bit tricky on how much you need to put in because I was actually talking shit. There's no way I'm putting mayonnaise in my fucking shake. Seriously, could you imagine what mayonnaise would taste like in this? That is disgusting. Not gonna lie, probably should have put the honey in after the ice cream because it's just stayed on the bottom. You're just gonna have to get a spoon and fish that out. Out of 10, ooh, creamy. No, that's good, that is good. Or is it? No, it is, it is good. 
There is something about cooking that's just satisfying, especially when you make a really good meal. Not saying that this is a meal. You shouldn't use a protein shake as a meal replacement. You should add it as a supplement because protein is a supplement. But what I was saying is cleaning up has got to be the worst fucking part. It's like when you're on the leg press, obviously on the leg press, you can press a lot of fucking weight. Taking it all off it just sucks after you finish. I still do it though. Re-rack your weights. All right, now we're going to move on to the mints. I'm going to throw that in the fridge. If you guys do want to grab your own protein, 25 grams of protein and no carbs, fats, well, two grams of carbs, it's basically nothing. And zero added sugars. If you're on a bulk, if you're on a cart, this is the best protein because it is clean. There is a random cop across the road, but he's standing down there sussing around. I wonder what's going on. I am such a sticky big bro. I'll be driving and see someone pull over and slow down. I just want to know what's going on. I want to know why they pulled over. Did you find drugs? Were they speeding? How much is the fine? Is that just me or does anyone else get extremely curious when they see, well, someone in trouble? All right, watch me clean up very fast and then we'll cook the mints. Drink break, cleaning's exhausting. I'm gonna give you guys a cheat code. This thing right here is a non-stick pan. They are a little bit expensive. Now, why are they so good? What happens, right, is when you cook a lot of food, you use a lot of oil. Oil has a lot of calories, and calories, well, they fucking suck if you're fat and trying to lose weight. That's not a negative thing to say, that's just the fucking truth. When we cook, we don't want shit to stick to that, so we spray a lot of oil or use butter to lubricate the bottom, so chicken, mince, doesn't stick. When you have a non-stick pan, you don't need to use any. That's like 200 less calories per meal. If you have four meals a day, that's 800 less calories a day, times it by seven. Is this many a week? Times it by four, is that many a month? Times it by 12, that is how many calories a year you are saving. I mean, you don't have to, but that's just my opinion. I recommend getting one. I'm just trying to give you guys the most efficient meals to quickly get done because everyone lives a busy life and we don't want to spend half of it in a fucking kitchen unless you want to be a cook. You enjoy the shit, for me, I don't. Parsley flakes, garlic and herb, this one's crazy. And then of course, you gotta add a little bit of sauces as well. I went into Woolworths and I just found this. It looked pretty cool, so I bought it. I think you're meant to put this on steak or something, but I just mix it in my mitts. I also don't know how much to put in. Nine grain. I don't know if you like grain bread or not, but like I said, if you don't like it, stop being a pussy, bring it up and eat it. Now I'm not in a bodybuilding prep and count my calories religiously. Like I won't count the calories on the butter because it's high in fat and that looks bad. <laughs> no. I don't know, I just have a little bit of freedom. As long as I'm hitting my calories and my protein, honestly, carbs and fats, they can kind of alter between. As long as I'm not going excessively over, which I know I'm not. Also too, this is not a fucking cooking channel. Later today, I'll take the car out, we'll go to the gym, we'll do something cool. Oh, that's a bit hot. Ew. I genuinely think all of this meal took me about 12 minutes to make. These ice cubes are fucking goaded. Lemonade, no sugar. I'm just gonna guess I'm correct here when I say that everybody watches YouTube when they eat their lunch or dinner. Look at that, boom. Sits here like this, how you doing? Hang on, before I go and eat, I gotta tell you, this bread, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a secret. See how it's buttered on this side? Put that side face down. Place it through the center diagonally because you're gonna fold it like a sausage singer. Now the butter's on the outside. Oh, so much better. I'm joking, nothing was funny, nothing was plain, that was an act. All right boys, this afternoon has been a roller coaster and I ain't talking emotions, I'm talking I've been in and out of sleep. I went into the room and I went to edit my video and I was snoring my head off. Brielle came in, woke me up, went back to sleep, came out, sat on the couch and ate, I don't know where they are, but chili peas. And then now we're going to the gym. Brielle's coming in, playing a bit of music, taking some pre-workout and gonna go train some... Biceps. Biceps. You haven't been on a YouTube video in ages. What do you say? <laughs> I, I always uh, We're gonna take a little bit of pre-workout. We don't have any shakers left because I always mix pre-workout. So back like the olden days, we're gonna dry scoop. Olden days, like last year. No, we, we don't dry scoop anymore because we live like 20 minutes from the gym. So we sip on it on the way to the gym. Ready? We're gonna go train some biceps. Obviously taking pride pre-workout, make sure you guys use code TREY at checkout. All right, so we don't have a shaker, but I did find a Culture Kings bottle. We're gonna pour half the water out, and um, actually you can just dry it. Oh no, you don't need the water. Damn. Should I dry, try dry scooping that water? Or is that no, dangerous? That's not dangerous, it's just dumb. Cause it'll taste bad. Okay. Go Breezy. Damn. You're like in an edit right now, pre-workout edit. Ooh. All right, a little bit of pre-pre with pre-pre. Oh yeah, you got two. Damn, what's up, girl? Talking about your car? Well, I was talking about you, but yeah. What's up, girl?
What's happening, girl? Alright, boys, it's about 11 minutes until we're at the gym, and that's when I start taking my pre workout. Because you're meant to take it like half an hour before your session or some shit. I used to dry scoop right before I used to train. I don't know why the fuck I used to do that. That's silly. Alright, boys, just for reference, it is a Saturday night. What time is it? Like 9 o'clock? Perfect. There is no one in this gym, completely empty. Uh, to be honest, we're probably only going to be here for about 45 minutes. We just got arms. I trained arms this yeah, morning. True. <laughs> she did train arms this uh, morning. I didn't. What did I train? I trained legs, bro. Oh, yeah, are you putting on music? Should we do hot girl vibes? Let's not. Let's not, actually. Okay, let's do Trey's playlist. Yeah. Gas. Actually, there's so many songs that I haven't added to it, but it goes hard. Yeah, I want to show on my fit, bro. Let's go. Wait, hold on. Full ready. Boom. Look, ready? Shoes. Shoes, pants, front runner, top, culture king center down, Tommy Hill figure, breezy for Christmas, breezy for anniversary, hey. tripod pieces, dumbbell, okay. beard. Yeah, let's see how you do under pressure. Oh, yeah, I've been wanting this shit forever. I've been in the field with whatever they throw at me, brush it off, pick myself up, moving on to the better. Okay, hey. Ain't no errors, baby, it's a new era I wake up early feeling rich like I'm Kesha I get to the paper, boy Extra, extra, extra. Fuck with me, you know that I got it Come with me, let's take a trip to the islands We up on the jet, we'll do more than just fly on it Stand on that hill, you gon' die on it Boom, boom. Baby, I'm not one of them, you should try on it Miss me with all that I'm on it and next yeah. Fuck this up, I send you back to your ex But good luck with that, this is big as it gets Hey, okay. let's see how you do all right, boys, I told you it was going to be a quick one tonight. I still got a pump. We still got content. The 85 mil lens, like, to get these shots are fucking awesome. Like, it's so crazy. It's really zoomed in and the audio is dog shit unless you have one of the mics, which I don't. I have the one on top of the camera, but hectic. Real and I never get photos together and we got cool photo, I guess. Cool photo, I guess. Um... All right, boys, movie date calls for a snatch. Chili chips. Snatch. 7-Eleven snatch. Yeah, this is my aisle, bro. What are you going for? What's the go-to snack for movies? These bitches? Yes. These I want a strawberry milk. Usually we do popcorn and chocolate, but... We have popcorn in the... Yeah. Home. Should we get more teasers, though? Yeah, we got popcorn at home. Put that bitch up. Strawberry milk? Unreal. Best flavor. Damn, look at that thing. One of those donuts with Nutella inside of it. <laughs> I've like never heard of that. open. I saw it the other day. Oh yeah, Brielle came up with a great idea of making some toasties. Damn. You gotta lock the dogs in the room because they eat everything. Damn, bruh! The apartment is a fucking vibe when you got those lights on. Boom. We still have the Christmas tree up. God damn it. Why would we put it down? Or we just gotta put it back up again in November. That's what I'm saying. You know, that's why. I think that'd just be a waste. And that's why you never make a bed because you just go back to bed. Yeah, exactly. It is. Re don't flush the toilet because you're going to use it again. You know yeah, what I mean? No. There's no point doing the dishes because they're I just going to get dirty down. again. Yeah, you know already I mean? don't do them. <laughs> Fair enough. You got me. All right, snacks. And as promised, we made cheese toasty, tomato, salt, pepper, ham, and cheese on that nine grain bread. Fucking delicious. Quality on the iPhone is a lot different to this camera. This camera is crystal clear. Anyways, that's a wrap on today's video. We're gonna go chill in bed. It's a Saturday night. We're gonna eat this shit and all the snacks we bought from 7-Eleven and then um, do the naughty. <laughs> do the naughty. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Ow.